think maybe you better see what's going on. Not until I'm sure that you're safely on your way. Let me by. I can't do that. You've got to come with me now. No, you want to punish me. It's fate who should be punished. Look, look what she did to me. Why can't people trust each other? Can't trust me. No, get out of my way. If you, look, if you go down there alone, you'll go right into the hands of the police. But if you come with me, then they'll think you gave yourself up uh, voluntarily. Don't you understand that? Everything will be much better. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! I don't know. It's something. Somebody's laying on the terrace. I don't know. You, uh... Listen, you, you better go. I, I'll deal with it. Uh... Is he dead? Just, uh... Just go. Just get out of here now. Dr. Collins? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Collins? He was on the roof. Don't you think we might find a better time to go into all this? No, we've been putting it off too long. And then something happens, which ought to be nothing, and Dog gets mad, or Jack loses his temper, or I get furious with everybody, and still we don't get down to dealing with it. Now, I cannot go on living in a constant state of turmoil over Jack. I cannot break myself in half. Half for him and half for my family. Mary, everybody's nerves are all exposed. Let them be. Maybe that's exactly what we need. With Don such a short fuse? Well, maybe Mary's right. Maybe we ought to have it out right here and now. Hi. I'm sorry. What it comes down to is just this. Yeah. Do I, I or do I not have the right to make my own choices and determine my own life? Of course you do, but oh, when we see... Oh, there's the big but. Now, there cannot be any reservations in it, Da. Well, what are we supposed to do when we see you rushing headlong toward disaster and unhappiness? Just stand there, not do anything, and let you wreck your life? That's a judgment you're making on my decision. You're trying to control me. And if you keep on, I'm not going to have any choice but to leave. Mary, careful with your words. Threatening things that you don't mean are not going to help the situation. I'm any. not threatening, Mother. I am laying out my alternatives as clearly as I can. It's not like the last time when I left in a fit and pride. A lot has happened since then, and I'm trying to make them understand I can't take any more of it. You see that? It's happening just the way I thought it would. Fanelli has succeeded in driving a wedge between you and your family. And if that's what he set out to do. Well, I'm not sure it isn't. Oh, come on, Da. He hates this family. He's jealous of this family. I haven't forgotten. The tricks he pulled on Frank when he was running for election, and you haven't either, was that the act of a fair man? Okay, Da. I didn't think so then. But I gave him a chance to show me what kind of a guy he really was, and I fell in love with him. Okay? Now, that's where we are right now, Da, but you won't accept that. And you take every opportunity to bait him. But me bait him? Oh, you better start seeing things right side up, girl, or you're in a lot of trouble. I do see things straight side up. Now, will you please just quiet down? It's not Jack, Da. 
It's your attitude toward Jack that causes all the problems. Now, if it weren't for you and everything that you do, you provoke it. Why, I... I have bent over backward further. John. Jeez. John. If he can't even get the words out of his mouth. Darling, it's been building up for a long time. Is he so mad at me that he can't even talk about it? Well, to be truthful, I've never seen him get so angry at one of his children that he didn't trust himself to stay in the same room. Well, then there is no hope for it. I am getting out. Mary, Mary, don't do something that you're not going to want to do. Think about I've it. I've thought about it, Mother, and I don't see how I can stay. The situation just gets worse and worse. I can't manage it. There's nothing you can't manage when you want to. Frank, I can't come through that door anymore expecting to walk into a full-scale battle. Do you know what that's doing to me? Da's gonna be back here inside of an hour feeling guilty and ashamed Yeah, of and how long is that gonna last? If I'm lucky, maybe through breakfast tomorrow. You know it's not you he's mad at. You know as well as I do. If he's mad at Jack, he's mad at me. It's the same thing. No, it isn't. Whose side are you on, anyway? Your side, always. Which is why I don't think you ought to leave home on account of Jack Finelli. Because he's not worth the trouble, is that it? I didn't say that. No, I... keep Mary in the house till she breaks up with Jack. At least till we're past the crisis. Mary! Mary. And if there's no crisis, well then, we'll see if we can instigate a crisis. Mary, that's not it. Well, I'm not gonna hang around until I find out what it is. I'm getting out. Now. <laughs> Patrol car's out front now. The ambulance is on the way. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, um, my partner's upstairs with his sister, and uh, she's in a bad way. She's been calling for him. Maybe you should go to her. Yeah. Stay with him, please. Just stay with him. Don't let him alone. What happened? Where's Daddy? Did they did they get him? Did they get him yet? Did listen, they find listen, him? Listen, just just take it easy and, and settle down. I don't want it to settle down. I want to find out what happened. Did they find him? Is he still around? I don't want him still around. I want them to find him. I I don't think they've caught him. They didn't catch him. Roger, he was here. He was he's right here. He's he's trying to kill me, Roger. He was in my room. Now listen to me, Faith. Just please listen. Dad was on the roof. Chasing Kenneth. And he fell. He's dead. Did you hear me, Faith? He fell into the courtyard. Are you listening to me? I... I left the policeman with him. Daddy, I love you so much. You're so good to me. Daddy, we're gonna... There's nobody now. Nobody cares about me. What do you mean? I don't have anybody. Nobody cares about me except Kenneth. Faith. Faith, you've got me, and we've got each other. Really, we do, and we have Jill. I guess I, I should go call Jill. Yeah. Go call Jill and tell her daddy's dead. Faith. Faith, please believe that we've got each other. And you've got the Ryan. No. 
I don't love anybody I want to love. Nobody wants me to love them. Nobody cares about me the way Daddy cared about me. I don't want you to feel so alone, Faith. I'm feeling what you're feeling. No, you're not, Roger. I am. No, you're not. And don't say you are either, because you're lying. Joe won't feel the way I feel either. <laughs> Better go call Jill now. Tell her Daddy's dead. Tell her it's my fault, too. Your fault? Yeah, it's all my fault. No, Faith, it isn't your fault. Yes, it is. It's my fault. I didn't do anything right. I didn't handle Kenneth right. I never handled Kenneth right. And he... He came to punish me. I shouldn't have run. I shouldn't have tried to get away. I shouldn't have asked for Pat so much. He came to punish me, and I... I should have let him punish me right now, but I, I didn't, and... He killed Daddy. Honey, you're just talking nonsense. No, I'm not. You don't know Kenneth. He, he didn't have anything against Daddy. Only me. He wanted to punish me, but... I heard him. And now Daddy's dead. Come on, please. Baby. Kenneth will be very happy now. Now he knows there's nobody who's going to protect me. He could punish me all he wants. He's not finished. <laughs> He's going to punish me and punish me and punish me. Oh, he won't. Yes, he will. I said he was. <laughs> oh, Daddy. I'm sorry, Daddy. Forgive me. <laughs> Daddy, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. <laughs> In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.